Hello friends, today we will discuss an experiment of Quincke's method. This is the setup for the Quincke's method. The aim of the experiment is to determine the mass susceptibility of paramagnetic solution by Quincke's method. The apparatus we will be using are Quincke's tube fitted on the stand which is a U-tube. One limb of it is narrow and the other is broad. Electromagnet capable of producing magnetic field of about 10 kilo gauss with its power supply. A gauss meter and hall probe. A traveling microscope to measure the high rise in uh, liquid. And the experimental solution which in our case is ferric chloride solution of 50% and 100% concentration. Faraday divided the magnetic materials into three classes. The diamagnetic substances. These are the substances which when placed in a magnetic field are feebly magnetized in a direction opposite to that of, that of the magnetizing field. Uh, for example, copper, gold, antimony, silver, lead hydrogen etc then paramagnetic substances these are those uh, substances which when placed in magnetic field are feebly magnetized in the direction of the magnetizing field platinum aluminium manganese and solutions of iron and nickel are some of its examples and finally the ferromagnetic substances these are the substances which when placed in a magnetic field are strongly magnetized in the direction of the magnetic field. Iron, nickel, cobalt and their alloys are some of the examples. Now let us see what the magnetic susceptibility is. So as we know that when a magnetic material is kept in a magnetic field, it gets magnetized. So uh, magnetic susceptibility is a measure of the ease with which a specimen of that material can be magnetized by a given magnetic intensity. So it is defined as the ratio of the magnetization M produced uh, due to the magneti magnetic intensity H. So as it is a ratio of the two magnetic fields, therefore it is a dimensionless proportionality constant. Diamagnetic substances have negative susceptibilities and paramagnetic substances have a small positive susceptibility and the magnetic susceptibility of ferromagnetic substances is positive and very high of the order of 10,000. When a solution of a paramagnetic substance is taken in a tube and placed between the poles of a magnet, there is a rise in the liquid level. Uh, because the uh, paramagnetic substance tend to move in the direction of the magnetic field. So a measurement of this rise in the level of the solution uh, enables us to determine the susceptibility of the substances. So in our present experiment, an experimental solution which is ferric chloride in our case is placed in the Quincke's tube as shown here the, uh, and the narrow limb is kept within the magnetic field. So this magnetic field provided by the electromagnet, uh, it varies rapidly along the vertical direction due to the wedging of the poles. So as it is uh, acting in the vertical direction, so there will be a rise in the liquid level. When the current is switched on, the formula used for uh, finding out the mass susceptibility for the liquid is given by chi m is equal to 2 mu naught g h upon b square where mu naught and g are the constants uh, h is the rise in the liquid level in meters and b is the magnetic field applied in vapor per meter square now let's perform the experiment so here we have the actual experimental setup used for Quincke's method this is the electromagnet which is supplied uh, with the cur constant current supply. We can change the current up to 3.5 amperes. Now, uh, this is the Gauss meter, um, uh, which is uh, connected to the Hall probe. This is our Hall probe, and which when uh, kept in the magnetic field, senses the, ma senses the magnetic field and is read in the Gauss meter. 
uh, now uh, these are the uh, uh, experimental liquids of 100% and 50% concentration they are kept between the magnetic field and this is the lamp to illuminate the view this is the traveling microscope which is able to move in horizontal as well as in vertical direction so this is the uh, microscope of it and uh, a cross wire is set on the liquid meniscus uh, then uh, this is the main scale and the smaller one is the vernier scale so we take the readings uh, with the help of this as we take in case of the vernier calipers this is the fine screw adjustment uh, if we have to move it by larger distance we use the other screw to move it but when we have to uh, move by the smaller dis small distances we use this fine screw during the experiment mostly we will be using fine adjustment screw now let's start the experiment uh, so first of all we have placed the hall probe uh, between the magnetic field to measure the magnetic field uh, as per the current so this is uh, the uh, constant current source is giving zero current at this moment and so we will adjust the uh, gauss meter uh, with the help of zero adjustment uh, to zero value if possible so here in our case there is some error uh, so we will take this zero error so this is 50 gauss because the multiplier is on 10 so according so uh, here for zero current we have 50 gauss then we will uh, change the current to say 0.5 amperes and see how much is the magnetic field so uh, we will note it down in our table again change the current to 1 amperes and note down the current note down the magnetic field here we are getting the magnetic field in gauss so this process we will continue till we get the uh, magnetic field corresponding to the current of 3 amperes at a difference of 0.5 amperes now we will remove the hall probe and put the narrower limb of 100% concentration solution between the magnets. Uh, now uh, focus the microscope on it, on the meniscus properly. One thing to be noted that here the meniscus will be seen up, uh, inverted because uh, the microscope gives us the inverted image of it and similarly the rise in the level will be uh, taken uh, will be seen as fall in the level. So uh, that will uh, this is the meniscus of it and this is how we will put the cross wire of the microscope now on the uh, right hand side you can see uh, upper the uh, meniscus of the liquid level go in going down because it is giving the inverted image with increase in current similarly when we decrease the current it appears to rise uh, actually it is uh, the level is falling down now let us uh, focus the microscope on the liquid meniscus and uh, try to take the reading so the uh, uh, reading of the main scale would be the division which is on uh, with the uh, zero of the vernier or before the zero of the vernier. So if with the help of this lens we can see that 3.2 centimeter is the main scale reading and the 10th division on, of the vernier scale is uh, in coincidence with the main scale. So 0.1 because 10 multiplied by the least count would be the uh, reading of the vernier scale. So we'll note down that uh, that will be our initial reading now we will increase the current to 0.5 uh, amperes and then again that time the uh, focus of the microscope would be disturbed we have we will focus it again uh, bring the cross wire, cross wire back to the with the level of the meniscus and with the help of the fine screw uh, fine adjustment screw 
and then take the readings again change the current and take the readings of the traveling microscope this pro process we continue uh, till 3 amperes with a difference of 0.5 ampere of current uh, so after that we remove this 100% solution and uh, place the 50% solution between the um, magnet and then follow the same procedure that is first we will adjust it for the zero current that would be our initial reading for 50% solution and then uh, increase the current 0.5 amperes adjust the uh, cross wire with the help of fine adjustment screw and then take the reading of vernier and main scale of the traveling microscope so this process again we will uh, follow uh, till we get it for uh, till the uh, 3 amperes reading with a difference of 0.5 amperes we will note down all the uh, readings in our observation table and see how to perform the calculations uh, so uh, this is our observation table uh, for the ferric ferric solution so uh, we have uh, taken the current and then corresponding magnetic field is noted down the first part of the experiment then we will take the 100 percent solution between the uh, magnetic poles and uh, adjust the cross wire at the liquid meniscus and take the reading of the vernier vernier uh, scale and main scale so that will give us the initial position for that person that person con that concentration of the solution so we'll note down that that initial reading will be same for all the uh, currents for all the cases after that we increase the current 2.5 ampere say and then again adjust uh, the cross wire or at the liquid meniscus and note down the uh, position of the uh, traveling microscope so uh, say the that is uh, h2 and the initial reading was h1 so h2 minus h1 will give us the rise in uh, liquid level for 0.5 amperes of current similarly we will take uh, the readings for 1 ampere 1.5 ampere and each time we will uh, subtract the reading final reading with the initial reading to get the rise in liquid level for that particular current so this is this is the type of graph we will get when we plot it for the magnetic field square versus rise in liquid this is the graph i have plotted for ac my actual reading which i have taken here so we will uh, take the slope of the line that is h versus b square uh, curve slope would be uh, noted down so we will be plotting graph for each concentration uh, b1 b square uh, in along the x-axis and h along the y-axis so uh, the slope would be calculated in centimeter per kilo gauss square so we have to convert this into uh, meter per tesla square and then substitute the value in the formula chi is equal to 2 mu naught g into slope so uh, we will calculate this for both the concentrations and uh, we will report our results in the form of following table so the final results are reported in the following table so for 50 percent solution uh, mass susceptibility and then for 100 percent solution now the precautions uh, we have to adjust the microscope to get a clearer picture of the meniscus and adjust the cross wire exactly on the meniscus after focusing the microscope and adjusting the cross wire uh, while taking the readings of the vernier and main scale uh, use lamp and magnifying glass it will give you the clearer image uh, clear uh, view and uh, it will be easy to take the readings and let the liquid rise and become steady before taking readings of the meniscus and then you should uh, be very careful while drawing the best fit line while plotting the graph for h um, h versus b square and then carefully take the slope that's all about this experiment
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.